this time of the year, a lot of folks looking to spend a little time at the beach, but you might want to rethink which one you want to check out. Yeah, there's a new report out by a group called Save the Sound. It's an organization that works to make the Long Island Sound a healthier and cleaner environment. They say some beaches in our state just don't get a passing grade. News 8's Stephanie Simone live now at Sea Bluff Beach in West Haven with more on that report. Stephanie? Darren and Keith, you know, while all the beaches along the Sound were safe to swim in today, some are definitely cleaner than others. Three. With those sandy fingers, three-year-old Sloan St. Pierre is already bitten by the beach bug. I like the beach so much. Sorry, Sloan, but Save the Sound just released what they call the Sound Health Explorer. It hands out grades based on bacteria levels in water recorded over the past five years. Some of the worst, New London's Green Harbor Beach got slapped with an F. West Haven's Sea Bluff Beach earned a D minus. I was a little shocked. I bring the kids down here every day, so I wasn't really aware. And Branford Point got a C minus. Great. <laughs> we'll be going home now. <laughs> Clean water is a concern of, of not only Branford, but the entire shoreline of Connecticut. First Selectman James Cosgrove disputes how Save the Sound recorded rainfall, but agrees the water quality can improve. He says they're working to pinpoint where the bacteria are coming from. You have to go back to the, what's the source of the bacteria. This is not the first time West Haven and Branford made headlines for water quality. We did similar stories in 2009 and 2012. Cosgrove says they've been working on it. Improvements to our wastewater uh, treatment plant, through our drainage system. Um, we have a pump out boat uh, that uh, services the shoreline. They test for bacteria routinely, and if it's safe, young Sloan and the rest of the beach lovers will still go for a dip. I mean, I always try to watch out, make sure that the beach is open and they're testing and it's safe enough for the kids to go in, but got to live a little too. I swim in it, and I've had no problem swimming. That's disappointing, but uh, still come and still love it. And that was the general sentiment that we heard from beachgoers today was that they will continue to swim at the beaches as long as they are open. Now, West Haven and Brantford, how can they counteract this? They press upon people who walk their dogs and animals in the area to make sure that they clean up after them. Also, they said geese can be a problem that can lead to bacteria. Brantford, they're planning on holding a meeting on this in the next couple of weeks. We're live in West Haven tonight. Stephanie Simone, News 8.